Yo, yeah. are you guys there? Yeah. yeah. Can you wait like three minutes to start it? Oh yeah, I'm watching your stream right now. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I want to see if, <laughs> if Crim Six wins this shit real quick. I I gave you a shoot to see if you would go. Damn, bro. This mo fight. Like, if you, I bet you can make an argument that this was like an AI video. Like, I can't believe I'm watching Ian Crim Six Porter race on fucking Twitch TV right now. Like, we're in the car with him. Uh, Ooh, I don't know if this is good. Like, is he supposed to be doing this shit? That seemed a little, like... Oh, fuck. Yo, Mike. I'm kind of getting, like, a little adrenaline rush here. We're just watching this. Seven-second lead is, like... 100-point club, as someone in his chat just said. So... Oh, I really don't want to jinx it. Like, really, the only way he's going to lose his race is if he fucks up, right? I'm, like, nervous for him, bro. I don't even know what it's at stake right now, but I want him to win this shit. Come on, Porter. Ice up, baby. Ice the fuck up. Bro, not only did Porter go figure out how to do professional racing, but he figured out how to put a stream up for it. This guy's kind of cracked. He's doing it all. You got to tip that, no? How the fuck did he figure this out? And he's winning, yeah. Damn, he's going 140 miles an hour right now, 150? That's actually insane. I never realized until I watched Drive to Survive that these guys that get into F1 have basically been racing their entire life. Like, they're legitimately just in, like, little go-karts from, like, five years old. And, like, when you really think about it, I guess that's what racing is. Just faster, bigger. But that's really it. How do you even get into that? I don't I don't get it. That must be like a European thing, huh? Is it over? What happened? Is this car fucked up? Or is it over? Oh, did he win? Someone crashed? Oh my god, bro. So the safety car is not like a good thing for him, right? Does the people from behind him get to catch back up now? Because they all got to do like a breakaway from one place together as they're moving? How's that work? Oh, it's a best lap race. So, you're just trying to put up the best lap. It doesn't really matter where you're at on the track. Damn, I'm a fucking simple jack, dude. I have no idea how this works.
Is this going to be like a big deal for him to win this? Like, is he about to, you know, walk out of this car like he won COD Champs? Like, how big of a race this is? I mean, it doesn't really fucking matter, right? I mean, his first real competitive race, like, in a real car, and he won it? He's got to be hyped. Right? I just don't know anything about the racing circuits. Like, uh, in comparison, like, is this like a Challengers event? Is this like a local LAN? Yeah, give it to us in gamer terms. Explain to us like we're 12. Dude, it's his first race. He won. That's next level. For Oh, for sure. Like, I, I emphatically agree with that. I'm just trying to understand the lay of the land. Like, how big of an impact does this win have for his racing future? Like, are people going to start taking notice of his name now? From, like, bigger circuits? Bigger teams? I wonder if it hurts that he's a little older. It's over? You can watch the full broadcast on YouTube with commentators? No way. Hold on. Oh, wait. It's right here. 40 tomorrow morning so that doesn't give you a ton of spare time to try and make repairs hopefully it's nothing too significant and both of those cars are in ship shape ready to go for race two waiting for ian to come back around should be pretty close to the finish here soon as we right, hop on starter. board watching him coming down into bishop this bumpy track did not everyone. rattle him whatsoever from what we could tell until Bring it on home with just half a lap to go. Uh, also, a big shout out to uh, Will P uh, Pelichewski, who had a, a pretty good race down there in eighth, just outside of the podium. Top five, though, in Masters in that. Kelly yeah, his safety car, car does look like Crim's real car. He's probably licking his lips right now. Season. It's been a great story uh, all along. There goes Porter behind the safety car. So down, we're here to call Porter. For the final time, headed in the sunset bend under race conditions. But you got to hand it to Rafa Martinez. You know, it was kind of like, okay, how's the season going to go? Well, now you've got two fast drivers, one who has touring car experience, the other not much real life experience. And I think that it's paying off dividends already when your cars are one, two going into the first race of the season. Yeah, really strong foundations to, to build from, that's for sure. Is that a turbo S? I thought it was GT3. Can I can't tell. You can tell by the spoiler that, immediately. The screen there. I don't think Ian that's a turbo S. He's soaking this all in. It's almost nice in a way. He gets to finish this at slow speed. Just look around. Soak it all in as he heads to his first career win. Well, he comes out from under the bridge. I'm sure if he could type to his opponents, he would give him a GG. Because Ian Porter has debuted with a victory here wow, today. Wow, bro. Sebring. That's actually so fucking insane. Caroline Conda is Congrats. your second place finisher. We'll have Joe Peak head down. Dude, what? Lane here momentarily. Uh, Ryan, an this guy's just doing the ultimate side quest. John guy's literally Jack playing a video game. So one, two, three. Yeah, super exciting to Go see. Go Porter, so man. There that, uh, That's a big W for the I gaming community Thomas overall. So earlier the weekend and the thing that really Honestly, really man, anything that Crim6 does from here on out is just like a cherry on top. So like, what are you going to say? COD players it, can't do other what, stuff? He was in the fights here today. And...